So hello everyone and welcome to VLSI for all. Today we have young and dynamite Nakshatra Sharma with us. He is a keen learner at VLSI for all. Now he is placed as an SOC design intern at Intel Corporation India. Uh, I am very happy that our team helped him in many ways to get placed. Uh, so Nakshatra, thank you for doing this and can you please introduce yourself? Hello everyone. I am Nakshatra Sharma. I am from Udhampur, JNK. I have completed my B.Tech from Shumata Vaishnav Devi University, Katra. Thereafter, I have completed, I have cleared GATE 2020. And now I am pursuing my M.Tech in VLSI design from Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh. And in parallel to that, I am as intern in a Intel Corporation as Associate Design Engineer. Okay, so Nakshatra Sharma, which course did you join at VLSI for all? I have taken RTL design and verification course as okay. that is like premium batch. So I have enrolled in that. Okay. So how did you find the course work? Uh, it was pretty decent. Uh, actually, I want to tell you that uh, I just joined very late, uh, very later. So I was not able to complete the whole work, but yeah, it was very decent. Okay, so how much time did it take for you to complete the whole coursework? Uh, as I have explained that I have not completed all the coursework, but uh, uh, I have completed like digital electronics, analog part, STA part, and very log part. So okay. because of that only I got uh, placed in um, Intel Corporation. Okay, so like... Uh... How did you like find the coursework actually, like the quality, you said it was decent. So what's your opinion about the faculties at VLSI for all? Yeah, faculty was good and the interaction sessions they take uh, are pretty decent and uh, uh, the how they teach and uh, how they uh, con convey one to one uh, like classes. So that is pretty much good. Okay, and how did the coursework actually help you in cracking the interview? So, uh, actually at the time of my interview, I have only completed like digital, analog and very log part. So okay. I have only, I have, uh, I have uh, set my resume on the basis of this only. So because of this, uh, as the PDFs were there, uh, which were defining like interview questions are there, so I have read all that interview questions from their VLSI from for all. So that interview question helped me a lot. And uh, the uh, actually the similar questions were asked in the interview panel. So I got like confidence that I know all these and that's how I can learn. Okay, so how did the mock interviews help you uh, cracking the actual interviews? So were there any mock interviews that were taken? Yeah, actually, I have not taken mock interviews, but I have interacted with uh, many people, uh, which Rajat sir has told me. And because of that, I was able to like get the questions and uh, what are the basic questions you need to prepare for that. So that helps a lot. in preparing. Okay. Uh, okay, so how was your real interview experience? Yes, so yeah, it was pretty much good. And actually, I have also like cleared off campus cadence interview. Uh, that uh, that interview was pretty much like a strong interview uh, in the analog domain. But uh, at the Intel, it was pretty much uh, like a decent and uh, C programming and Python was also asked. Uh, okay. Like scripting language, do you know? So this type of questions were asked. Okay, so you would say that the level of questions were difficult. For cadence? Yeah, for cadence, it was difficult because I was trying like off campus. So the competition is very much high. And uh, for uh, Intel, uh, it was only for internship. So the question was not, I will say like difficult, but it was tricky. Okay. So like, can you tell us how did Rajat sir and the panel of, of VLSI for all help you in cracking those interviews? Yeah, register helped me from the starting, like uh, providing me the uh, information about how you can crack the course and uh, uh, engaging with 
me with the peoples of that organization like cadence and intel and uh, providing me providing me with different types of pdfs to crack the interviews interview mm-hmm. questions and the material they have for in the blsi for all so yeah they help me a lot okay so why you said that you were select you cracked to interviews right cadence and yeah. intel so why did intel. you choose intel over cadence actually i was in my uh, campus i was uh, like pack uh, i was not allowed to go for off campus okay. uh, because this rule uh, got uh, here in this year or last year i don't remember it but uh, i was not allowed to go off campus so mm-hmm. and uh, when my placement cycle starts internship placement cycle so i got uh, selected in intel so i have to choose that only because there is a policy bond which is signed by us so i have to okay. go for the on campus okay so like can you tell us like what are the skills that are actually required to crack the interview and enter the vls industry so okay as per uh, my interviews i uh, remember like in cadence you need like protocols knowledge very log knowledge digital basics analog basics especially mm-hmm. and uh, sta part and this type uh, and it depends upon the interview will ask you questions depending upon your resume so okay. as the resume part uh, that you will put in uh, your resume it will uh, they will ask questions from there only so like you, uh, you can prepare like very log if you know knowledge about system very log it is a plus point so okay. you can prepare that also uvm is there so all this part is important but you have to make sure that you must know all the basic knowledge of that okay so what do you what would you recommend uh, if you are an aspiring mtech or a btech uh, student who want to enter uh, the industry and the one who is watching this video like just prepare keep preparing okay Don't so like lose your hope so you told us right that uh, you are currently doing your mtech and parallelly your internship is going on so uh, why did you opt for going uh, doing mtech so actually i want to go in the blsi domain okay. so because i have uh, visited some blsi industries in my btech like mm-hmm. scl is there in mohali so i have visited that and i found like pretty much good experience there so i was attracted toward vlsi domain so i like uh, thought that through gate i can uh, clear, uh, complete my mtech and there i can thereafter i can join the vlsi industry so that's how i get into the mtech okay so like uh, do you think that uh, you know it's important for a fresher to get a reference from the uh, companies or like you uh, it or uh, is it like possible like to get in industry without any referral and uh, what we can say uh, yeah prior yeah, it is po- yeah. it is possible to get mm-hmm. in the industry but you uh, you need a lot of skills okay if uh, and uh, your resume should be a uh, more attractive than the others uh, to get selected like and if you have a referral then also you need uh, some uh, technical knowledge but referral will help you to get uh, interviewed by the interviewer so only this matlab uh, uh, only the referral is uh, advantage in the part of like interview process will go smoothly okay so like uh, what would you like to say a few words to our audience about vlsi for all channel and its initiative yeah uh, actually i was uh, in my amtech second sem so i was searching for uh, like online courses which will train me if in the vlsi domain mm-hmm. so i got to know about vlsi for all from online linkedin so i searched like uh, who runs that so i contacted rajat rajat sir thereafter he guided me very well and uh, yeah course was pretty much good good and the fees is also nominal okay so and we are at this uh, we are at the end of the interview and before wrapping up the interview like could you give some motivation tips and 
tips to our viewers after watching this they feel more motivated to work hard yeah actually just keep preparing and follow your mentor which you are following okay i will tell you that one okay so thank you nakshatra thank you very much yeah.